Hello fellow brawlers, I'm Kairos Time and it is time to talk about Barley's gadgets and star powers. Barley's getting a brand new gadget, it's actually really cool, we're going to talk about that and then we're also going to talk about his other gadget and both of his star powers, compare them and then talk about his best build and then we're going to talk about the skins and pins and rank them for, from worst to best. It's the best Barley build video guys. Before we get into all that, I need your help with something. Over the past several months, you guys have seen my office kind of like transforming, right? And now it's just missing one final thing. I'm talking about Brawl Stars fan art like this awesome piece created by free fgp so greatly known as uh shelly in the bush reminder to always check the bush now i'm holding an art poster competition on my discord server and the winners are going to get prize money and their artwork is going to be printed and put on my wall for all of you guys to see in my videos and i need your help to come into my discord server and vote for your favorites because there's a lot of great fan art that has been posted you can either go to discord.gg kairos or you can use the link in the vid description of all of my videos to join the server and you know hang out with other brawl stars fans as well thanks for coming to help guys barley's newest gadget is herbal tonic which can be used three times per match when barley activates this gadget he throws a healing potion to his location and also to the locations of nearby allies this potion will heal 500 health per second for five seconds that's 2500 health for each teammate that stays within the healing area the whole time that's a lot of healing for gadget in fact it's more than double the healing that pam's pulse modulator gadget has although brawlers do have to stay within the area for five seconds for it to take its full effect and that is a key part of this gadget not only does it take a while for you to get the effect but it also has a one second delay for when barley throws the bottle into the air before it lands down and actually starts the healing process and if you leave the circle you won't get the effect of the healing the gadget is always available to activate so i highly recommend holding it down before activating it so that you know if teammates are within range now it has a throw range of about nine and one thirds tiles and a radius of about two tiles which is actually a pretty solid range it's a bit longer than his regular attack range but it falls short of his super range now if barley and his teammates are bunched up and multiple herbal tonics land on top of each other the healing effect does not stack so there's no benefit to staying close to each other now when people first use this gadget i have a good feeling that people are going to think they're like invincible or something like that and that is definitely not the case in fact it's only 100 more healing in five seconds than bb's vitamin booster gadget heals in four seconds and it requires better time than bb's gadget does because the healing is spread over a longer period of time. Additionally, unlike BB who can freely move around and still get the benefit from her gadget, Barley and his teammates are confined to a specific location if they want to keep getting healed. That does not mean that the gadget isn't very good though. I think the biggest strength that this gadget has to offer is the fact that it can heal multiple teammates, including Barley, which will make it an excellent gadget to use in the hands of the right player who can actually utilize it to its full extent. Now let's talk about Barley's original gadget and compare the two. Barley's first gadget is Sticky Syrup Mixer, which can be used three times per match. When Barley activates this, he drops a sticky mess two and two thirds tiles around him that significantly slows down enemies that get caught inside of it. Now the mess stays on the ground for three seconds, but enemies who get slowed can be slowed for up to four seconds, which is a very significant slow. This ability makes it much easier for Barley to deal with those close range brawlers who get too close to him. And so he can just like get away from them and start throwing some attacks on them when they're really easy targets or even long range brawlers that are chasing him around walls. Now, which gadget is better for Barley? I think it really depends on a few things. Obviously, if you're playing Barley in solo showdown, which I do not recommend, you should absolutely use Sticky Syrup Mixer in case somebody gets too close to you. And plus the healing would only benefit Barley in the first place either way. But Barley's best modes are Hot Zone, Siege, and Heist, with of course a little bit of viability in Brawl Ball and Gem Grab with the right team comp or on the right map. I can see a lot of justification for playing either gadget on any of these modes. Sturry Syrup Mixer is better in 1v1 situations where Barley is trying to gain control of a specific area, whereas Herbal Tonic is better in team fights, especially if you're not too worried about close range brawlers getting too close to you. Both 1v1 situations and team fights happen a lot in Barley's best modes, so the choice is going to come down to your own skill. Both gadgets are defensive abilities, but Sticky Syrup Mixer is better for panic situations, so if you're prone to getting surprised while playing Barley, Sticky Syrup Mixer is definitely the better gadget to go with. But 
if you are really good at map awareness and you can pay attention to not only your teammates but also enemies then i think the herbal tonic can provide a lot more value more frequently i think that sticky syrup mixer is an a tier gadget that should be used by most players but herbal tonic is a better option for really skilled players who can fully utilize it and is therefore an s tier gadget now let's briefly talk about barley's star powers and then compare which one is better and then we'll talk about barley's best build barley's first star power is medical use with this ability barley gains 400 health with each attack that he uses that means that with three quick attacks he can heal 1200 health which is more than one third of his health the star power does a great job at helping barley survive and my favorite part about this is that barley does not have to fall back to heal if there are still enemies in the area you can just hide behind a wall and continue to attack which provides a lot of value in modes where controlling an area is really important barley's second star power is extra noxious with this equipped barley's attacks all deal 140 additional damage per second which is 280 damage per attack that's not going to sound like a whole lot but over time and especially against stationary targets like safes it really does add up as for which star power is better i think it's really going to depend on the mode that you're playing him on if you're playing barley on heist it is definitely better to go with the extra noxious star power for the additional damage against the enemy safe it's also useful against tanks that have a lot of hp that need to be melted through which are especially played on heist but if you're playing on a mode where controlling an area is really important like hot zone or gem grab you'll absolutely want to play medical use so that barley has less time out of battle and more time controlling important areas which is what barley really thrives at doing as for brawl ball or duo showdown and also siege because siege is kind of a combination of both of those either star power does have its benefits the distinction between your choice in these modes i think is really going to come down to how open the map is if the map is more open and you're more likely to face long range brawlers medical use is the better option since it helps Barley stay in the fight for longer, especially against other throwers. But if there are lots of walls, you'll be more likely to face tanks, and Extra Noxious is going to be more handy because of that additional damage against their massive amounts of HP. Honestly, though, I think that both of these star powers are S tier star powers, and you're great going with either one. Medical use is probably a bit better for the average Barley player who struggles to stay alive, though, so if you keep dying a lot with Barley, definitely go with medical use. And now that we've covered Barley's gadgets and star powers, it's time to talk about the best builds and where to use them. Now, where we're talking about a lot of S tier abilities, there are absolutely situations where all four gadget and star power combinations would work really well. Of course, depending on the map and your play style. But there are two main combinations that I think are the best for Barley's build. First of all, is Barley's Sticky Syrup Mixer with his extra noxious star power. This combination is Barley's best build in Heist, and arguably the best Siege build as well. His gadget can be used if enemies get too close to him, and he benefits from the extra damage to handle tanks very well, as well as the ability to unload a lot of damage against the enemy safe and the Ike turret. I think that Siege and Heist are Barley's second and third best places to push right now, so this is a really excellent option for Barley. But I think that Barley's best mode to push in right now, based off of the win rates above 700 trophies, is Hot Zone because it's all about controlling a certain location, and that's what Barley does best. And I definitely think that Barley's best build for Hot Zone, and arguably his best build overall for making it easiest to push Barley, is Herbal Tonic Gadget, paired with his medical use star power. Both of these abilities are gonna help Barley stay alive on the zone, which is the key to the mode. But his new Herbal Tonic Gadget is also going to help teammates stay alive on the zone as well. And while Barley does not have very much HP, he oftentimes will be kind of like a support brawler behind, and this is kind of the perfect situation for him to do that and it's the perfect mode to really utilize herbal tonic because teammates are going to want to stay in the zone either way and so they're not going to want to leave the healing spot like i did say though i think that there could be some use for any of the builds but i think that this is the ultimate build for barley but we still haven't satisfied the sweet gemmers out there that want to know about the skins and the pins which of course we're going to rank from worst to best let's start off with barley's worst skin which in my opinion is red wizard barley it does have some really cool flame attacks and i suppose it does kind of look like santa claus and that's cool but it's basically just like wizard barley except that it costs star points and it's red whereas wizard barley is free and i'm actually gonna go with wizard barley as the next best skin now that doesn't mean that i don't like wizard barley I, in fact i think it's really cool and it's kind of got this unique ability to like unlock a brawler no other skin will unlock a brawler for anybody if you are a new player and you do not have barley unlocked just go and connect supercell id and it will unlock barley for you for free and then it will unlock the skin for you and then that's all on top of the fact that it's 
it's a really cool skin that actually has really sweet particle effects with that flame attack. The only reason why I'm not ranking this higher is because it is so common in the game that it's almost boring to see it now. Like how often do you see a regular barley skin, right? You see wizard barley almost all the time because everybody and their dog who signs up for Supercell ID, which is everybody, has the skin. Now I know that some people are gonna disagree with me on this next one, but my third favorite barley skin is Maple Barley. I do think he's super awesome. I love that he splatters maple syrup on the ground with his attack. He's actually one of Lady Kairos' favorite skins in the game, and I thought about making him my second favorite, but I've got to go with Golden Barley for that. Golden Barley looks so cool. He looks fancy. He's clean. He's polished. He has a unique attack projectile, and he's gold. But my favorite feature about Barley is that he only costs 30 gems. In my opinion, this is one of the best valued skins that you can buy for only 30 gems, which gives him bonus points in my book. And that, of course, is going to leave my personal favorite Barley skin as Bake Sale Barley. Now, I know that this is not the popular choice, but this is actually one of my favorite skins in the game. He throws pies, he's wearing a dress and high heels, and Night Witch Mortis kind of makes me feel a little weird, but for some reason, I just think this is hilarious. And to top it all off, I think it is so funny the way that he walks, which is, it's just so funny. Plus he throws pies at each other. Like, I mean, you know, that's a bonus point because I mentioned it twice. I know it's not popular, but this is my favorite skin for Barley. As for pins, my ranking order is the same for most brawlers. His base pin is my least favorite. Next is the sweat drop pin, although it is kind of cool that it shows like a little bit of oil in there. My second favorite pin for Barley is the thumbs up one, and the heart pin is my favorite out of all of them. And all of that means that this is the best Barley build. Barley's heart pin emote, paired with his bake cell Barley skin, with his newest herbal tonic gadget, all paired up with his original medical use star power. I wanna know what you guys think about this build, and I also want to know what you think about Barley's newest gadget. Do you agree with me that it's an S tier gadget? Drop a comment, tell me why. Of course, make sure you guys subscribe for more best brawler builds like this one. We still got a couple brawlers that we still haven't done sneak peeks for for their newest gadgets, so, you know, definitely wanna watch around for that and use Coke Harris in the Brawl Star Shop. And for now, guys, this is Kairos, time ticking by, and we will see you in Brawl Stars.